Hi there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. Today we will read Anna and the Tooth Fairy by Maureen Wright with illustrations by Anna Chernyshova. This book was published by Two Lions in 2012. The Tooth Fairy will be visiting me soon, so I'm making her a present. I ask mom, what should the Tooth Fairy's dress look like? Pink and frilly, like Sophie's, she says. Sophie is my baby sister. Babies are okay, but mom says Sophie is too little to play horsey with me. I don't know how to draw a magic wand, I say. Sophie waves her sparkly rattle. It's a little like Sophie's rattle, Mom says. I add a sparkly wand to my picture. Mom yawns. I'm so tired, she says. Sophie kept me up all night long. I wiggle my loose tooth. The tooth fairy stays up all night long, too. She goes around the world collecting teeth and leaving money under pillows. Dad comes home and I ride on his back, pretending he is my horse. Then he picks up Sophie. Did you get any teeth yet, baby girl? Dad says, look, Anna, your baby sister is flying. Tooth fairies have to learn how to fly, too. I pick up my tooth fairy picture again. Sophie looks just like the tooth fairy. Mom said Sophie stays up all night. Dad asked her if she's gotten any teeth yet. And Sophie is taking flying lessons. My baby sister must be training to be a tooth fairy. Maybe Sophie is going to take my tooth when it falls out. I need to help her as much as I can so that she will be the very best tooth fairy ever. The next day, I teach her about money. Tooth fairies have to know these things. Sophie likes my painting, so I let her paint along with me. I tell Sophie that tooth fairies have to learn to be very quiet so they can sneak around without anyone hearing them. Tooth fairies also like sparkly things. Tooth fairies have to get used to the dark. I gallop over to Sophie with a baby blanket and toss it over her head. Sophie kicks her little feet and laughs. Even though she can't play horsey, my baby sister is more th fun than I thought. Before dinner, I ask mom, can a tooth fairy leave her job to come play with me during the day? No, says mom. She's way too busy to do that. Oh, no. That means Sophie's going to leave me when she starts being a tooth fairy. The next morning, I get an idea. I'll make sure that I don't lose my tooth. Then my little sister won't have to start her tooth fairy job. I try using a bandage to keep my tooth in place. It doesn't stick. I use a pretty scarf to keep my mouth closed. Sophie pulls it off. Now my tooth is even more wiggly. Every time my tongue touches my tooth, I feel it wobble back and forth. I don't eat any pizza at dinner, even though it's my very favorite food. Little horses have to eat too says dad. 
I shake my head and stomp my foot like a horse. I keep my mouth shut when I put on my pajamas and grab Huckleberry. Mom comes in with Sophie and says, Are you okay? You're awfully quiet. I say, Mm hmm. You do know that it doesn't hurt to lose a tooth, right? I finally open my mouth. I know that, but if I lose a tooth, then my little sister will have to go far away. Sophie isn't going anywhere, says Mom. She'll always be your little sister. She will? Forever and ever, I ask. Yes, says Mom, giving me a hug. You'll both be my girls forever. Hooray! I give my very loose tooth a good wiggle and out it pops. That's wonderful, says Mom. I put my tooth under my pillow. Mom sets my picture of the tooth fairy on the windowsill. Huckleberry and I stay very still and listen for the tooth fairy, but we don't hear a thing. In the morning, my tooth is gone and there are quarters under my pillow. I run to find Sophie to make sure she hasn't flown away. I'm so happy to see her. I kick up my legs like a bucking bronco. I grin at her and she smiles right back at me. With her very first tooth. The end.